It looked like something out of a sci-fi movie, but this was the scene in one South Seattle neighborhood today as the DEA decontaminated their protective suits after raiding a suspected drug lab. Inside, they found the chemicals to make fentanyl. That's a powerful and deadly synthetic opiate, often mixed with heroin. All of this right next to families. This is a scary situation. DEA agents geared up in moon suits, searching a home on South Prentice Street. Cautious work for the clandestine laboratory enforcement team as they remove the chemicals to make fentanyl. It's like heroin, however it's 50 times more potent than heroin and it's 100 times more potent than morphine. Drug traffickers cut their heroin with the fentanyl to give users a bigger high, sometimes with deadly consequences, killing more than 700 people who overdosed between 2013 and 2015. To know that it's that close is horrible. Neighbors say they were surprised to hear that there was a drug lab in the house right across the street from them. There are kids all over this neighborhood. They said the people inside seemed rather strange, sometimes gardening at four in the morning. It's never a settling thing to know that you live across the street from a drug manufacturing house. Jason Ferdet has two young kids. I was just glad that we didn't have to evacuate the neighborhood. Unlike a meth lab, there's no danger of an explosion at the home. The threat here is exposure. Those are level A suits that uh, make sure that they don't accidentally or inadvertently ingest some airborne particles or, or drop or touch some, uh, some of the fentanyl, which could prove to be lethal. The DEA says the raid is part of an ongoing investigation, and this bus shuts down a serious trafficker. They're controlling the source of the drugs, and any time we can eliminate this source, that's a win for us. So one suspect is in custody tonight and will appear in federal court tomorrow. My question, I mean, I see those guys go in in those suits, and is it like meth that once it's in the house and it seeps into the walls, can you not go back in there? Do they have to decontaminate the whole place? It's a really good question. So once the DEA leaves, they do clean up. Mm -hmm. They put a big sticker on the door, right? And so then the owner of the home has to come in, pay a company that, that has expertise in this to go in and clean it completely. It goes on the National Federal Registry of homes that have been drug labs before. Oh. So you can see the long-term effects. Who really wants to buy a house that was a drug lab, right? You certainly want somebody to come in and look at it. If you think you have a drug lab in your neighborhood or if you know a big-time heroin dealer, the DEA has set up a tip line where you can report dealers anonymously. Just text TIP411 and start your message with TIP DEA. Some good advice. All right, a look at Seattle.